Welcome to Casebag Watches, my name is Tim and in this episode I'd like to talk about a certain Russian hat, the Ushanka. Yes, and when it comes to Russia I'm not exactly an expert, but I found a few aspects in Russian culture I really enjoy. And the first is the music, of course, the music, or let's be more precise, the Russian musicians, or let's be more precise, the female Russian musicians, or let's be frank, it's Olga. Link over there. If you want to see a really talented peach, then you should watch Olga. And second is the vodka. Second is the vodka because I live in a in a town loaded with hipster <laughs> culture, and they drink gin, 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 gin all the time, gin tonic. You can enter a bar, and the bar will have a menu with 100 different gins on it. And to be frank, I find gin a little bit too perfumed. And I don't like the fuss about gin. And so my drink of choice is vodka tonic. And this sounds a little bit odd, um, but I can show you. It's a delicious drink. It's pure, it's cold, it's just delicious. And I don't like my vodka tonic with any herbs or decoration, or I just want the glass 5CL of vodka, Thomas Henry, ice, done. That's the drink of choice for me, my humble opinion, my humble taste. By the way, I'm wearing my Rolex Datejust from the 80s. I love that watch on leather. And the third is the Ushanka. Because in winter time we have to wear something on our heads. And yeah, we have quite something to choose from. I give you that, but well, let's start with some examples. I mean, we all have this. A beanie, right? A beanie. It's mine. But I don't like it because it reminds me of those devices you use to warm cooked eggs, okay? And I'm not sure if I want to wear a egg warmer on my head as a grown-up. I think this is not very good choice for a grown-up. And second hats, of course. I have several hats and uh, nothing wrong with them. Here you have a beaten up hat for rougher days. Does the job, basically. Does the job. Nothing wrong th with that. By the way, my hair styling product is 100% dry, so I'm not making a mess here. Or let's take this one, more formal, great head for winter time because the structure, I don't know how to call it, but I like it, good head, nothing wrong with it. But when it's really cold outside, then maybe you need something warmer. And then you can see the Ushanka in Russia or China, Finland, Norway. And my Ushanka of choice is this. Really love that hat. Um, let's put it on. I mean, even if you don't like it, you have to <laughs> you have to say this is a statement, right? This is a little bit more stylish than where is it? I threw my beanie away. Okay, never mind. So there it is, my Ushanka, made out of. Oh no, no, no! I, I will not reveal this now. I bought this um, two years ago on eBay for pff, 20, 20 uh, euros. And um, last year, a very nice lady from Russia, not Olga, another lady from Russia, um, explained to me what your Ushanka says about you. Because the fabric, the material is connected to your social status in Russia, not here. Okay, but she explained me, if you see, um, let's say, a fake fur, okay, fake plastic basically, then, you, then probably it's a soldier, okay, or very, very low class. And if you see rabbit, then maybe under middle class. And if you see lamp, then then upper middle class maybe. And if you see something like that, then you've reached the highest position in society. Because this is mink. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I, I, I did know that this is mink, but I didn't know that it's connected to the imperator, okay? And yeah, if you are um, a member of Peter or some other animal right groups, relax. This is antique was produced in Finland in the 80s and I d don't see any sense throw it away. So um, so I, I've kept this head and I really, really like it. But of course I'm pretty normal. Sometimes I want something new. It's very stupid. Sometimes people want items new. I have my mink, but then I've decided um, let's buy another Ushanka made out of lamp. Stupid decision. Really, really stupid decision. I will show you why. Finland, 80s. Made in Germany, uh, yeah, 2019, and now look at that. Guys, this is a piece of furniture. This is not a proper hat. 
I mean, gosh, you could watch TV in this thing. You could use, you could use it together with your girlfriends to make something out of that. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, look at that. This is a piece of furniture. This is ridiculous. You can't, you can't, you can't go outside with that. I mean, with my Ushanka, people, yeah, will look a little bit at you. In November, they look a little bit hmm, amused. And in December, they look a little bit jealous. And in January, they ask you how... Uh, how how to buy that thing? Where did you where did you buy that? Okay, but nobody will ask you. Hey, I want this. I want this this hat. Where did you buy that monstrosity? So it has to go back. Has to go back. And now I really enjoy again my old Ushanka from Finland from the eighties. My mink. So if you want to buy yourself an Ushanka, what you have to keep in mind is the material. Uh, you shouldn't buy mink. I think those times are, are those days are over. But you can uh, you can buy other natural fibers like lamb, like rabbit. Second, you want leather, not plastic or something like that. Okay, this is not um, a hat for rainy days, but for those beautiful cold, sunny uh, winter days outside. Okay, so leather. And then you have to um, watch for the right proportions. You don't want your, your Ushanka super high. To be frank, this is a little bit too high. I, <laughs> I admit this, but I'm a mink wearer. I can do, I can do this, yes, I, I think. And you don't want it too, too narrow here, too low, because then you look like a lumberjack, which is not a problem, obviously, if you are a lumberjack, but if you're in the city, then you want the right proportion, okay? By the way, let's make a small excursus how to distinguish between natural fur and, and fake. And this is very simple. <coughs> Excuse me. Real fur. There you can find, of course, leather, but sometimes you can't see the leather. But you can see um, there are some layers. Very deep are very tiny, fine fibers. Everything is very smooth inside here. And it's very different from the, um, from the hairs outside. Those hairs are long and a little bit more robust and inside you can feel something super, super soft. And fake fur is all the same. Okay, there you have one type of, of hair, one type of fiber in it. So you can distinct this very easy. Sometimes you can find the real stuff declared as fake fur. And this is because um, fake fur nowadays is more expensive than the real stuff, the natural. Very, very strange. Okay, now I show you what you can do when it's really nasty outside, when it's snowing, storming, blizzard going on outside. You can turn it <coughs> like this. And then you are really, really, really warm. Now it's cozy. I can't ensure you that now it's really cozy. I can't hear any noise anymore. So I'm feeling very, very secure and safe. And this it smells good really really good it's not a fragrance it's not the animal of course it's something i don't know warm it's warm and cozy smells good has very 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 good head i really enjoy this head guys i'm sweating <laughs> this is not the, the head you wear indoors so this video has to stop here but let me give you a quick recommendation a few days ago i saw the film the death of stalin with steve buscemi he plays uh, nikita khrushchev and in the in the in the first 10 minutes i thought is this comedy is this a documentation what is it what genre is it it's a totally crazy movie about the death of stalin and all the politicians the russian politicians and who want to be the next stalin and it's really really crazy but fun to watch so big recommendation the next video here on this channel will be the i think the analyzing the next analyzing video i've chosen a very flashy loud guy and it's enjoyable to produce that video i have to say and yeah that's the program for for the next week and then i have a crazy watch coming in and so a lot of topics to discuss here on the channel but now i have to get out of this thing so thank you very much for your attention and maybe until next time